new video and new slate. So this is a uh, incognito window and I'm gonna be starting a new demo account so you guys can see from scratch how it works like. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be testing with higher trade sizes um, just to simulate what it would be like, say if we started with a 10,000 account, okay? Um, the first thing we're gonna do is hit continue demo trading and we're also gonna look into what has the highest payouts at this point. So uh, this still has the highest payout at this point. I'm gonna switch to that right now. So it's CAD JPY, all right? And we're also gonna be experimenting the other thing that we wanted to talk about as well, which is the... Um... So at the end of this candle, uh, once again, I'm gonna be looking out for the ex expiration, which is very, very close. And if the put still holds true, we're going to go in at the start of the next candle. So that's, that's done right here, okay? It's still glitching a lot. So just monitor it here. And I will up the trade size. We can even do this. Like by clicking the times two, is a very convenient way to double up. At the end of this candle, it still does not win. Then we have to go in for a call. Alright. It's already been entered. All right, this is going off quite well. And likewise, uh, because we know that this is going to win, uh, I will set it back to the initial trade size. And we'll continue with the same direction if we do not get opposing signal. Look out for the expiration time. 56, 57, 58, 59, and I'm going to go in again. And if this doesn't work out, We'll set up for the next trade. So I'm going to hit that times two. At the end of this candle, if it's still in the red, we will go for it. All right, it's actually winning. I will then get ready with the same trade size and go in again. It's very nice. We seem to be on a roll right now. So once again, recap, we're testing two theories at the same time. First, uh, if we use money management according to a 10,000 account, so like 1% 1, 1 per trade. Uh, for the starting trade and then uh, with the mining gear of course and then secondly we're also testing to continue with the same direction until uh, opposing signal appears and then we'll go in again having said that another idea is that if you find that the price candle is going close to the resistance line maybe you just want to stay off for a minute and wait for the next signal if that is the case but anyways no worries uh, well, let's set up for the next trade right here. Hit the convenient times two, and then we will get ready for the next one. Keep the expiration timer within view so that we can hit it at the beginning of the candle. It's very, very crucial to get it in the beginning of the candle. So as with the previous video, we're testing it in a very controlled way. Um, there's no whims, no nothing. Everything is structured. Uh, notice in the previous video, we stuck with the plan and in this video, we're also going to stick with the plan as well. Alright, so in case there is a, uh, a need to go double, we'll just set up for that. This trade, we made a little bit of an error in the last seconds uh, and this can happen sometimes. So I, I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened so I can talk about it. Depending on the size of the account, we can actually continue with the sequence or we can actually repeat the last trade, which is the error trade, and then make back some of the loss. But in this case, I'm going to go for uh, the double up. So there is new, no new signal, we we're going to go with the same direction. set up for the next one by hitting the times two button okay looks like we're gonna win this in the last few seconds all right so um, one of the reasons why that happens also is because of the support resistance line and that magnetizes the price action towards that line so we're gonna set up for this minute and wait for this new candle to give us a signal. Earlier, we also noticed another issue here uh, where the maximum trade is actually at a thousand. 
what that actually means is that if you're going to trade sizes above a thousand, uh, it could give you a little bit of a problem because uh, you know what if you get a bad entry on the second amount that is a shortfall. So this is something to think about. Starting with 50 as a trade size might be might be better. Okay, now let's get ready for the next one. This is a call indicator right here. So start. Let's look at our closed trades. So quite good. And I expect this to go to the upper bound. And but this, by the way, is the New York lunch time. So just try also trying it at different times of day. The previous video was done at the London Open, so this one is on the New York lunch time. And today there's a nice amount of volatility. So usually we try to pick market opening or market active hours, but uh, this is actually quite active. Okay, anyway, next candle we're gonna go in again. So like I said, until we have an opposing signal, we just keep going for the same direction. I, I'm liking this a lot better already. But to avoid the earlier mistake, okay, so um, watch in the last couple of seconds if there is a change and be sure to follow it. So earlier, I mean, you guys may want to re-watch that, that part where I made the wrong direction because that could be a scenario that happens to you as well. So you want to make sure you, you can rehearse for these kind of scenarios too. Okay, so now this is actually hitting the top bound. And in this case, uh, I will sit out for a minute. And it's at a resistance level. So sit out for a minute. Because no point. Alright. We know that the price will bounce anyway. So we'll just sit it out. And then after the next uh, candle, then we go in again. In my next video, I'll also be doing this on IQ option. Because some of you guys uh, are wondering, like, uh, we're always showing pocket option. What about IQ option? Does this work there as well? I'll be showing you in the next video. Let's look at the expiry time. It's a put signal. And we're going to get ready. And we go. Again, it's bouncing off the price levels. So like I said, um, these two make a very, very good combo and the Bollinger as well. By now, you, you should know the drill. What should we do next? Same direction. Unless we get an opposing signal, we're gonna go in again the same direction. It might bounce off the middle Bollinger band, but let's not overthink things and just do it. So it did after all, it bounced off the middle Bollinger band. Never mind. So like over, says, over here it says, don't miss your opportunity to get real profit. Um, well, if you find that you're comfortable, you are welcome to start. But say, you know, if you still want to test and uh, you want to experience some new situations, then uh, go ahead and, you know, there's no, no real rush uh, for you. Obviously, you know, we're, we're in it to make money, right? So, but you need to test until you're sure what you're doing. This is still quite close. There's a gap between here and the top bound, that's why I feel that it makes sense to go for the trade. There you go. Especially when it's the beginning of a new support, the new support may not be that strong. We already see the price having some resistance here. So we're gonna take a break after this trade and then for a minute or so, see what the next signal gives us. All right, it says, it actually says put. So we're gonna do a put, like we're gonna do it very quickly. I, I had no time to change the timer this time. And I realized in the last seconds, I actually lost. So uh, I, what I did was I clicked it twice. As we do this, I want you to get comfortable with the idea that at the end of the day, what's really helping you in this trade is the support and resistance of the price. So that is what is helping you. Um, there are certain things that will always repeat and always happen. And it's one of the synchronicities of the price that is helping you to get towards uh, you know your your goal and helping the strategy work as well. All right, because this one is just about closing along the um, Bollinger Band, uh, I will make this as the last trade, and uh, I think that's pretty good, don't you think? It's quite a decent win rate, isn't it? All right, so I hope this helps you out. 
um, it's like a live um, recording of me applying the strategy with a uh, higher trade size. We also identified some of the challenges with a higher trade size, uh, which is the, the maximum trade size that um, there's a limit to that and that could pose a problem. So we've got to find a way to solve that. One of the ways we can solve that is that, let's say if we have to go to the 1006, we want to click 800 twice. That'll be better than doing uh, 1000 once and 600 uh, again, because that'll be too slow. So that's one, one solution. All right, that's, I just thought of that. Um, but otherwise, if you want to do like single entry, then maybe, you know, you want to cap it off at like 50. I think 50 would be a good start. And it'll still get you a very nice amount of profit as well. So uh, as always, test till you're comfortable. And when you are, and, um, when you invest the cash, you're not actually taking a risk uh, because it's something that you're already mentally prepared for. And finally, in the next video, I'll also be showing you how to do this same form of trading using this same system on the IQ option platform as well. Thanks for watching and I hope if you like my content, please hit the like button and give me a subscribe. Also hit the bell notifications icon so you get alerted when new content from me comes out.